Hey and welcome back lovely people. I really hope you're keeping safe and keeping well. Today we're going to talk about something quite disturbing. Something has emerged that is affecting the world right now that we need to understand better. Many cultures eat wild animals. In North America and Europe it's called game. But in Africa and in China, we accuse them of eating bush meat. But what hunters don't understand is they're playing Russian roulette. Let's not forget that we are an animal species. And just like our animal friends, there's an amazing protection that exists between us all. And that's called the species barrier. It's invisible and complex. Science is only beginning to fully understand the big picture of the species barrier. We are all aware that animals are islands, that giraffe and zebra and elephants and skunks can't interbreed. And that barrier gives all animal species a great protection. But it's complex and it breaks down. The most simple life forms, bacteria, viruses, can break down the protection barrier. And what has emerged from China reveals a system that is broken. To understand what went wrong, you have to understand the economics of modern China. It's a big country and it has a lot of people and they all need to eat. In the last few decades, China has transformed itself into this technological empire with people moving from the countryside to these massive megacities. The only way that the Chinese can feed its growing population in cities is to reorganize its agriculture. Traditionally, Chinese shopped at markets from local farmers. Families kept chickens and pigs and brought them to the local market for sale. But when you have megacities, that doesn't work. You have to have a much more central agricultural policy. So what China did was to industrialize the chicken and pig production, cutting out the little guy. So the mom and pop farmers had to find another niche market, as farmers do all over the world. They were marginalized, moved off their small holdings and forced to move to a more rural setting, rebuilding their business and their small holdings at the edge of forests in wilderness areas. And they no longer could compete with chickens and pigs, so they turned to bushmeat. China has a long tradition in eating wild animals for health benefits and purely as street food. And that niche market was fulfilled by farmers no longer farming pigs or chickens. And that's where it all went wrong. The Chinese love for the wild and the exotic broke the species barrier. Roast bats on a stick or pangolin scales in your medicine aren't a good thing. That's actually very judgmental of me. They might be okay, but people didn't know. All animals have different bacteria and different viruses in their population, which we normally don't catch. But you will remember that we all learnt from the SARS virus outbreak that poor animal husbandry spread the animal virus into a human variant. So the truth is stranger than fiction. We're searching for answers to what really happened and what's affecting our wonderful Earth right now. In my humble opinion, we are the problem. 
our desire to eat exotic and strange wild animals that do contain viruses has been our downfall. We just don't know enough about the species barrier. And let's not be too quick at criticising the Chinese. You deer hunters out there who call venison game are really eating bushmeat. And we've all heard of chronic wasting disease in a proportion of the deer population. We've had the wake-up call, and now we better behave. Breaking the species barrier is potentially deadly. As the pangolin tried to tell us, I am full of strange diseases, don't eat me. As you know, I don't shy away from being controversial. YouTube hate me. Many people disagree with what I say, but hopefully today I've given you a bit more information about how the world works because the truth is out there.